This is Duke University. There is one, one major thing. I mean, I started by talking about uh, the, uh, uh, like the, uh, my experience growing up in an environment where you, know, you had basically to look around you know, who was sitting around you before just communicating with your friend. I think the Arab Spring has, has, has implemented one thing, has brought to one thing, the, uh, uh, the ability of individual in that region now to overcome fear like the element of fear is very important. And fear not only in terms of like, you know, fear, fear of repression, but it's also fear, I'm referring to this in terms of like the beginning of a process of reconciliation between being and, and nature. And that, is a very, and that is a very important like, you know, resonance of the Arab Spring. The apprehension of the Arab Spring as an event undermines also the perspective that considers the victory of political Islam as the point of culmination of the revolutions. Of course, there are a lot of readings. I mean, you can, we can all, in, in one sense, if we look at what's happening in the region over the last two years, there is ground to argue that the Arab Spring may have led to the emergence of political Islam. If we look at you know, the governments in uh, Tunisia, uh, Egypt, uh, even in countries where the Arabs, when no revolution happens, such as Morocco, now there is a, uh, uh, an Islamist government that is in coalition with other parties, but it is led by an Islamist uh, uh, political party. Now, if we, look at, if we look at the Arab Spring as events, then of course, that is not the, the, the purpose. The, the purpose is not to say the Arabs, these revolutions have not brought anything but, you know, like uh, to power, but political Islam, but uh, governments led by uh, uh, Islamist parties. I think this is a very limited and short-sighted sort of like interpretation of the resonances that are taking place and that will continue to take place because this is only the beginning of it. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.